we started with a discussion regarding the laminar to turbulent transition process here we saw that the flow transition is dependent on several factors such as surface roughness free stream turbulence etc for free shear layer flows where we have fluids moving relative to each other at different velocities the transition process was through the formation of roll up vortices which looked like ocean waves this instability was referred to as the kelvin helmholtz instability on the other hand for wall bounded flows such as flow over a flat plate transition occurs because of the amplification of disturbance waves referred to as the tolmin schlichting waves for both these situations we saw that the linear instability analysis through the application of the small disturbance theory can give good estimates of the conditions at which transition occurs next we embarked on understanding and describing the enigma called turbulence our discussion revealed that the turbulence is a flow property and is characterized by unsteady chaotic motions of eddies of different scales we touched on what these different scales are and spoke in detail regarding their dynamics and mechanism of energy transfer between these different scales we then discussed the idea of reynolds averaging and how we can modify the original navier stokes equations to obtain governing equations for a turbulent flow in this process we noted the appearance of the reynolds stress terms that describe the effect of turbulence on the mean flow however we realized that these stress terms are themselves unknown and hence it was not possible to solve the ranz equations without identifying a way to model these stresses this was what we referred to as the ranz closure problem among the two major techniques to tackle the problem we discussed in detail the buzinesk approach that related the unknown renault stresses to the mean flow through a new variable called the eddy viscosity we then briefly discussed techniques ranging from the algebraic approaches such as the prandtl's mixing length to the two equation transport models such as k epsilon and k omega that are used to calculate the eddy viscosity finally we discussed in detail the turbulent boundary layer profile we introduced the different regions of a turbulent boundary layer that is inner outer and the overlap regions we then derived analytical relations to describe the flow features in these different regions this led us to the famous law of the wall and the logarithmic velocity profile in the overlap region